inside a refurbished warehouse in Lawrence, Trampas Tenbrook and Pedro Rodriguez have one job, to figure out how to make the best running shoes possible. Working in the New Balance Research Lab, the guys are using cutting-edge technology to figure out what works and what doesn't, as well as see how a New Balance sneaker stacks up against the competition. We really do several different things to try to help build better product. Some of the time that's just testing product. If we have a new product coming out, we wanted to make sure that that product is the best in class. So we bring in the competitor's product, we bring in our product, and we test them against one another. So we go through this calibration procedure, waving this wand. Trampas and Pedro use a three-part testing system that helps them not only see how their shoes perform, but how specific athletes respond to wearing them. In order to see how it all works, I volunteered as the test dummy for a day. And though each athlete is unique, the goal at New Balance is to develop shoes that appeal to a wide range of runners. We have to have enough of a range in the people we bring in that the information we gather is going to translate to anybody who put, puts on the shoe. A 60-year-old walker, sometimes that's a 22-year-old Olympic caliber athlete. So the first part of the testing process is for the guys to figure out how my foot moves while I'm running. In order to do that, they start off with basically here like a blank slate of a sneaker. As you can see, there's nothing fancy about the bottom of this. There's no arch, just a flat bottom, and it's the first step in figuring out which sneaker works best for the athlete. The first test was on a treadmill designed to feel just like concrete. By attaching sensors to both my legs and feet, the guys can see how I respond using high-speed cameras. A big thing they're looking for is what they call pronation. Typically when somebody runs, they land on the outside portion of their heel, or at least 80% of runners do, and their foot rolls to the inside, and that's a completely natural motion. However, some runners actually roll to the inside too far. And that's when that starts to become an issue in terms of injuries. By using 3D imaging and slowing down my feet, the guys can see that I'm a light heel striker and pronate just a bit. And after watching me run at full speed over what they call a force plate, they recommend a fairly neutral shoe for my body type and running style. Because you'll see people landing at all areas in here. Another component of the New Balance research happens right here in the Smash Lab. It's where they can put sneakers through a rigorous workout without having to use an athlete. In fact, on this machine, they can have a sneaker run a marathon in just 15 minutes to see how it responds. This gives us the ability to really replicate a lot of wear. As far as long-term wear and tear, these guys can set the machine for the weekend and have a sneaker run 400 miles and then take a look on Monday. It's a way to determine when a runner might want to think about buying a new pair. 300 to 500, 300 to 600 miles is generally a good range. And again, that's going to depend on your body weight. It's going to depend on how fast you run. It's even going to depend a little bit on how, how long your stride is. And all of this research gives us, the athlete, the information we need when buying a pair of sneakers. You may think it's all about comfort, but there's a lot more to it. You want to go into the store in the afternoon when your feet have kind of swelled during the day. Your feet will tend to swell during the day. You want to go into at that point so your feet are as big as they're going to get throughout the day. You also want to be sure that the socks you're trying on your shoes with are actually the same thickness sock you're going to be wearing in your race. The benefits of exercise are no secret. Thankfully for all of us, guys like Trampas and Pedro are making sure we've got the technology to continue staying active for a long time. The most satisfying thing is making products that allow people to continue to be active and hopefully injury free and be able to fulfill their exercise needs or into you know enjoyment so